Good morning, how to implement router-based code splitting using React Router and React Suspense. First create a new React application, npx, create React app, code splitting. Move to the application folder, cd, code splitting. Install React Router, yarn add React Router DOM. Open the code editor, first go to src index.js import browser router from react router dom wrap your application into browser router format the document now go to app.js remove the layout remove app css and logo and we're gonna use switch from the react router dom to render the routes exclusively inside of this switch we will render three routes one for the root route that will render the home component one for the about path and it will render the about component and one for the profile and the root path should be matched exactly import the route from the react router dom and now let's define our home about and profile components i'm going to remove this test and now i create new file home.js import react from React export const home equals a new functional component that returns a paragraph that says home. And let's create the component for the about page. About.js component is called about and it returns the text about. And same for the profile. Profile.js component is called profile and returns text profile. Now let's go back to app.js, import our page components, import home, from home, import about, from about, and import profile, from the profile module. Now let's add a nav menu, and inside of this nav menu, we'll create three links, one for the home page, it will lead to the root route, one for the about page and one for the profile. Currently, if you open the page in the browser, all the pages are loaded in one bundle simultaneously. Code splitting allows to optimize it so that the about page or profile page will be loaded only when we navigate to them. We're gonna use React Suspense API to implement lazy loading. First, we need to change how we load our page components. Remove the imports. And instead of it, we'll create constants for each of the pages. Const home equals react lazy. And react lazy accepts a callback where we need to load the module. We can load the module dynamically using webpack dynamic import function. Import home. And now we can do the same for the remaining pages. About and profile. When Webpack sees this import function in the source code, it knows that it needs to create another JavaScript chunk automatically. And in Create React App, this functionality is enabled by default. So now, for each of the pages, Home, About and Profile, we will have a separate chunk that we can load separately in our browser. In order to load them, we need to wrap our switch into the React Suspense element. The Suspense element requires to specify a fallback. It will be an element that will be rendered while we are loading our page component. We will show a paragraph with text loading. Let's format the document. And if you open your page in the browser right now, you will see a bunch of errors saying that the promise loading the page component resolves to undefined. In order to fix it, we will change our component exports to default, export default home, same for the about page, export default about, and profile, export default profile. Now in the browser you can see that if you click home, about, or profile, it shortly blinks with the loading state. And if you navigate to the page the second time, it is already stored in the browser. So we 
switch to this page instantly. And in your network tab, when you navigate between pages, you will see that you're loading additional chunks of JavaScript. So when I go to profile, it will load chunk 4. Thank you for watching this video. If you have questions about React Suspense or code splitting, let me know in the comments. And also I have a Discord server where you can propose new topics for the videos. See you in the next one.